Please subscribe Sporta TV for more information, MotoGP and Formula 1 2024. Ducati team manager Davide Tardazzi says there is no problem if Jorge Martin wins the 2024 MotoGP title and takes the number one plate to Aprilia next year. Martin's future with Ducati was decided after the Italian Grand Prix weekend, when the mark made a U-turn on its plans to promote the Pramac rider to its factory squad for 2025 in favor of Marc Marquez. Aprilia gained Martin's signature for next year, with Ducati then left to face the real prospect of the Spaniard winning the World Championship and taking the number one plate with him. It's because of this that many thought Ducati would slacken its support for Martin in his fight with Francesco Bagnaia, though the opposite has been true. Tardazzi accepts that Martin could win the championship and then leave, but is relaxed by the fact the history books will forever show what manufacturer he won with. It's obvious that if Jorge will win the title he will probably run number one, because it's something that not every day you can have, he told TNT Sport prior to the Malaysian GP, after which Martin took a 24-point lead in the standings. So, he must want it on his bike. But in the big book, of results, will be written Jorge Martin, Ducati. So, the number one is for the rider but the machine is Ducati. So, for us it's not a problem. We will try hard to bring back, the number one, for 2026. If he wins the championship, he can bring himself the number one, but he won with the Ducati. So, for us, it's no problem. Davide Tardazzi added that even with Ducati facing the prospect of losing the 2024 world champion, Martin winning the title is still proof that we did a good job signing him from Moto2 for the 2021 season. Obviously, Jorge Martin is a rider that is under our contract, Tardazzi said. So, we are happy in some ways. But honestly, regarding myself, I have written Ducati Lenovo, next to my name, and we will try hard to let Peko perform in the proper way, trying to win, and we'll see what Jorge will do. But in the end, again, it's a rider that grows up with Ducati, that it's possible he will win the championship with Ducati. So, in the end, we did a good job anyway choosing him from Moto2 to MotoGP. On the other hand, Pramac MotoGP team boss Gino Borsoi has revealed he has worked with a mental coach this season as part of a push to win the 2024 title. Ahead of the final round next weekend in Barcelona, Jorge Martin leads Francesco Bagnaia by 24 points and could win the championship in the sprint race if he outscores his rival by two. Should he win the title, Martin will becomes the first independent team rider to win a championship in the modern MotoGP era. Borsoi has worked on himself this year to better deal with the pressure of fighting for a championship, which in turn has allowed him to guide Martin, who has also worked with a mental coach in 2024, more effectively. For sure, it's not an easy task, Borsoi told TNT Sport about managing a title battle. This summer, I tried to get ready myself and have a mental coach because we have to improve our mind in every area. So, we know what we have to do on the bike, but also the body and physical side we need to be ready. Honestly speaking we talk a lot, Martin and myself, during the weekend. We try to prepare all of the scenarios and I can help him in a mental side, because as a writer I cannot say anything more because I was a writer but I never tried a MotoGP, bike. So, I cannot give him some advice, about writing. So, the only thing that can help the writer if something is wrong keep calm and just go ahead because otherwise you cannot fight with the factory, you cannot fight at the high level. So, when something goes bad, just keep calm and try to think in the best way. If you become nervous and angry, you just lose time. Winning the title this year will have added significance for both Pramac and Martin, as both get set to depart Ducati at the end of the season. Martin will join the factory Aprilia squad after being overlooked for a factory Ducati team step, while Pramac will partner with Yamaha from 2025. Alix Espargaro says the problems Aprilia has struggled with in hot temperatures have gone without a solution since MotoGP testing in 2018. The recent flyaway races of the 2024 season in places like Malaysia and Thailand saw Aprilia riders once again battle with extreme temperatures on their RSGP. This has been an ongoing issue for years, with Maverick Vinales forced to retire from last year's Thai GP due to how the heat was affecting him on the bike. While the increased aerodynamic development of MotoGP in recent years and the packaging of the RSGP has widely been blamed for Aprilia's problems, Alix Espargaro admits that the engineers don't really know. 
Actually, this question is also the one that I'm doing to the engineers but is also what the engineers are looking for, they don't know, he replied when asked if the packaging of the bike was the problem. This heavy aerodynamics is not helping for sure. We're trying to close everything, trying to add a lot of aero, so it's not helping. But it's the problem we've had from the first season. I remember the first test we did with Scott Redding in Thailand was a nightmare five or six years ago. And we never improved. While the heat issues have physically taken their toll on riders, Espargaro also said after struggling to 13th in last week's Malaysian GP that the heat is also affecting the performance of the bike. The last three, for seasons we suffered a lot, a lot, a lot with the temperature, he said. And it's not just the riders in Thailand, Maverick, last year, couldn't finish the race. But it's not just about our physical condition, but it's also about the hardware of the bike, the fuel pump, the tires, the brakes, the engine was extremely slow where it was fast in Australia. In the sprint I overtook many, many riders. But now with this temperature nothing works. So, obviously for the future Aprilia, I think the base of the bike is not that bad, but with these temperatures it's impossible that nothing works. So, for the future Aprilia, if they want to improve this is the first thing to solve. Jack Miller says he has always wanted to ride a Yamaha MotoGP bike having followed the likes of Jorge Lorenzo and Valentino Rossi on M1S earlier in his career. The Australian has been thrown a lifeline for 2025 after Yamaha signed him on a one-year deal to return to the Pramac squad. Miller, who previously raced with Pramac on Ducati machinery between 2018 and 2020, will join Miguel Oliveira as the Italian team embarks on its first season with Yamaha. Having at one stage this summer looked like his MotoGP career was finished, Miller is extremely excited to jump on the M1 having admired it since racing with the likes of Rossi and Lorenzo. It's awesome to have the opportunity to work with Yamaha, he told TNT Sport. Such a prestigious brand, such an historic brand. They are pushing so hard to try and achieve what they did just a few years ago. To try and help those guys, and I've always wanted to ride one of those bikes since I hoped into MotoGP. I used to follow the Tech 3 boys or Jorge or Vale back in the day when they were on that, and thinking that looks good to ride. So, extremely excited to finally get on board the M1 and see what it's all about. Miller's two-season stint with KTM has failed to live up to his race-winning performances of his Ducati days, with 2024 proving especially difficult on the RC16 as he is yet to get near the podium. Reflecting on his time with KTM, Miller said, the key thing would be the double podium in Jerez. Obviously the sprint podium was really nice the Saxon ring. But I would have liked there to have been more. There's no getting around that. I would have liked a few more highlights, that's for certain, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Like I said, there's still plenty of opportunities this year, so fingers crossed we just hit our stride and finish the year out strong.